Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can enter a car and as in the last tutorials we have the steering wheel that we can move around and but this time the arms move as well with the steering wheel. So let's go. So the first thing of course we need a few variables for this. So we go to our playable character and we create the left arm location, then the left arm rotation, and the location of course will be a vector and the rotation will of course be a rotator. So, and then we just duplicate this one here and this will be the right arm location and this one duplicated will of course the right arm rotation. Great. So what we have to do is we go to our third person animation blueprint and as well we create these variables here. So the left arm location. So I skipped it. Now we, okay, of course we have the same variables right here. So now we have to set it here. So we go from the try get pawn owner and cast to our character down here, like this one, connect it. And then we'd want to, of course, get the left arm location. We want to get the left arm rotation. Want to get the right arm location and we want to get the right arm rotation. So now we just have to set these variables inside the animation blueprint. Like that. So left arm, the left arm rotation, then the right arm location and the left, uh, the right arm rotation. And then we just have to connect these that it will be set it like this. Great. Of course, we have to compile and save this here. Okay. Yeah, now it's working. Great. So the next part is we go to our car because we control the car in this case when we have the steering input. So Actually, we have already the steering input. So when we go inside the car, the steering wheel is moving with the with the wheels, as you can see. So now we want that the arms move as well. So we go to our car here. And what I prepared already is these handlers, these triggers here. So that's just static meshes. It's just when you add component type in sear, so this is this one here, and I place it in onto the wheel, so it's the child of the wheel. So when the uh, wheel is moving, the um, triggers move as well. So when we say hidden in game is false, you can already see it. So when I go inside here, the triggers move as well. So now we have to connect these with the player. So this will be hidden in game. So I skipped the editing process so you can play around because this will be the locations and the rotations of the hand later. So it take a little bit time to do that. But you can just place the actors and play around what works for you. I put the animation of the driving into the description. So let's go to here and we want to set it when we trigger the move right, so the steering input. So we already have this function here. So what we have to do is we take our driver that we have from the last tutorials. Link in the description for the last tutorial. And of course we take our right hand trigger and the left hand trigger. And what we want to do is we get the world location and we want to get the world 
rotation for both of these left hand and right hand trigger like this one and from the driver of course we want to set the left hand arm location we want to set the right arm location we want to set the left arm rotation and we want to set the right arm rotation move this a little bit here so the left arm trigger the world location goes inside here of course the from the right arm goes inside here the as you can see right arm rotation goes of course inside here and the left arm inside here so we do the same thing we go from the trigger here and we want to set it and here and here and here and then go back to the steering input great so now the location will be or will be triggered when we move around the wheel great so the last part is we have to put this inside the animation blueprint so we go inside the animation graph we have the default class and from the last tutorials we have the states when you want to go from the idle to the enter car or enter, car, enter side car and then we are in the car so we've just the animation for play driving or whatever you have so we have to put inside this one the movement of the arms so just let's disconnect this one here and the first part is we want to go local to component from the animation and then we want to set the two bones ik like this one and selected bone will be the hand in this case hand l as you can see this is the hand l inside here and what we want to do is we take our left arm location get it and this will be the affected effect the location so of course from here we go to the transform modify bone like this one and in this case of course the um, left arm rotation will be the rotation and of course we have to set it to the hand L like this one so um, and I would recommend to put this one here to 300 this here to 50 in my case this works best for me what we can do we can just copy and paste this up to here connect it and at the end we go from here to component to local then we can connect it with the output like this one and of course here we have to select the hand R and again hand R so left and right and in this case we take the right arm location this will be the effector location and the right arm location is of course the uh, the rotation is the rotation of course so the last part is we have to modify a few things here so we go to the two bone ik and we put the effect the location space to world space and the joint target location space to bone space and then we select our upper arm l in this case and here we do the same thing so world space bone space and here is the upper arm r of course then we go to the transform modify bone what we have to do here is we go to the scale mode and this will be replacing assist existent and here world space and the same thing of course down here replacing existent and world space compound save this and now let's see if it's working so if you play we go inside the car and as you can see 
the hands is the hands are moving with the wheel. Yeah, it's not perfect, but just to be showing you can play around with the animation so that it looks better. But yeah, works pretty good. And yeah. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.